Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today in this video, we're gonna check out a uh, rude package unit that we went on, had a bad compressor. So I uh, wanted to show you guys how to diagnose a bad compressor to any of the new guys out there. So stay tuned. Okay guys, we're gonna diagnose this rude package unit. It's a six-year-old package unit manufactured in 2011. And when I first come to the unit, I wanna make sure there's voltage, so. Easiest place for me to start checking for voltage is line in. So check the line side of the contactor, not getting 240, not getting 120, not getting 120. Okay, so I've taken the disconnect handle out of the box. And I notice that there's no fuses in it. So I go down and ask, has anybody been out here, anybody else been out here diagnosing the system? And she said, yeah, there's been a home warranty come out and said that the system is blowing my fuses. So, so uh, that makes me think, uh, are there any shorts in the system? Is uh, any motor touching the chassis of the system as well so that makes me want to start checking usually first thing I want to check is the compressor so is the compressor shorted to ground so I'm going to switch my meter over to continuity and check for continuity so if my leads are touching then I have continuity and what I don't want is continuity between what I don't want is continuity between you know any of these terminals here at the contactor so okay so there that lets me know that okay so that's letting me know that I have some contact between the actual voltage the wiring and the frame of the body that's a direct short to the unit. So something, let's check the load side of the contactor. And we're actually gonna check the, the black wire running to the contactor, the common wire. And we'll check the red wire going to the uh, compressor as well. That's the run wire. Oh, all right, so on the load side of the contactor, both lugs are connected, are touching ground. So that's, usually indicative of something going on major with one of the motors. So what's what's connected here? We've got low voltage connected. We got, uh, I'm sorry, we've got uh, line wires connected. So right now it could be line wire. We've got fan motors connected. Uh, and we've also got the compressor connected. So just based off experience, I'm gonna go ahead and take the, the wires off of the contactor from the compressor. Okay, and I'm just gonna stash them over here so they're not touching the frame of the system. And now let's do that test again. Let's check the load side, the black common side of the contactor to ground. And there you go, nothing's, uh, nothing's coming up. So no continuity there now. If I touch the, if I put the wire back on, I've got continuity. If I take the wire off, Set it off to the side. Now there's no more problem with the contactor, any of the line, any of the lugs. So my problem, that tells me that my problem is at the compressor. Okay, let's do one more check at the compressor and make sure that that problem is actually with the, the compressor and not the um, wiring.
how well you can see that there. Hopefully you can. What we're gonna do is take off this, take off this uh, cap here. This is where the common run and start wiring comes in. Inspect this. That's in good shape. Don't see any issues there. Let's check it to check these terminals to ground again using our continuity meter. And for ground this time we'll use the um, copper tubing. So we're just gonna we're just gonna touch this copper tubing here. There we go, we've got a nice, I'm just gonna find a different piece of copper that has less oxidation on it. Make a couple little scratches right there. Right there, that tells me that we have continuity between the motor and the frame. So, motor, the windings inside this compressor are bad. We just need to replace this compressor. and uh, the system will run again. So sh parts should be under warranty. It's a 2011 unit, so. So they will just have to pay for refrigerant and uh, labor. So. All right, so we're just gonna button this unit back up. It's Saturday, so none of the warehouses are open. I can't really, I can't change this out if I wanted to today. Uh, I'll have to wait until Monday to get the part ordered if she decides to go with us. I know she has home warranty, so she may just go with home warranty. Fine. Okay, so uh, with a bad compressor like that, uh, you know it's Saturday today, and there's I can't, um, I can't. There's no warehouses open, so there's no way to tell um, what the availability of the new compressor is. So what we're going to do is um, I was able to find out that the compressor is still under warranty, still under parts warranty. Uh, Rude units that were made uh, after 2000. Nine have the 10 year warranties apparently so um, so so the part will be under warranty but uh, the customer will just have to pay for labor so it sounds like she's gonna uh, talk to her sons about it she obviously needs air conditioning so I told her what the cost would be for labor only on the job and she seems to think that's fair. So we'll probably get the job and uh, maybe we'll shoot the video on uh, how to change out a compressor coming up soon. So, um, all right, well, thanks so much for watching and uh, see you on the next video.